What's up everybody? Peace be with you guys. Welcome back to Last Day on Earth. Where for this episode, we're gonna be talking about mods. So um for this side, uh, we're gonna really be talking about the mods that are gonna be good for any player, for, but for the free to play players right now, what you'll be able to grind. Um for the mods we're gonna be going through just a couple guns and two of the melee weapons. Um for the skull crusher as long as the machete. Even the cleaver, um, I don't have a cleaver on me right now. I think I, I should have one on my inbox. But we're mainly just going to be going over the mods for weapons that you're going to get like constantly. And what can be easier for you to mod. So you can see the Sawblade Mace. Sawblade Mace is a harder weapon to mod due to the active skill mod. I'm not going to bring up the Scar also because the Scar is like, like a big end game weapon and it's pretty hard to mod at, at some points especially if you're not like grinding the if you're not grinding the motel not really motel sorry if you're not go, grinding pd because pd is a lot of gun heavy and you, you mainly get a lot of your purple mods from pd especially depending on the crate that you do open um as well as you can get them here and there in zones and You'll be able to get them here and there as well in bunker alpha so the mods are going to be going through right now are going to be some of these weapons that you get a lot uh yes i did bring the bow sometimes for the bow is a not a bad weapon at all depending on how you use it in bunker alpha and you you can craft them yourself if you want to and and use it they're not not bad if i say so myself they're pretty good against your friends gents especially if you're not comfortable with the wall trick the um bow is definitely a good one um, for that. So the first weapon we're going to be going over is going to be the cleaver. Um, sadly, I, won't, I don't have all the stats with um, the requirements for that. That's the thing I should have gone over first. But I'm just going to be showing you what mods are good at all. And we're going to be just clicking over them. So the first one here, it does 26. The base damage for the cleaver is 24 DPS uh, per second. But this one we're going to take it out. You can see it this just decreases the damage, gives you a little bit of critical chance. Um, it gives you a little bit more weight, so you're a little slower running with it, and the speed is definitely a lot quicker as well. But it does decrease that damage, which is something you don't always want. But this one isn't a bad mod. Um, and there are some mods that I would recommend if you do learn them, you don't always have to build them. Um, at a point you want to be gaining the best out of your weapon especially because mods like i said mods change your gameplay a lot especially if you're doing the wall skill it changes your um perspective on doing the wall skill and being able to damage them because you will get out of using the crowbar because crowbars are definitely like your your go to book out for doing the wall skill but they could be gaining more and more different um melee weapons as well and you you you're gonna want to be testing them out so the best one for the cleaver is going to be this mod uh, you can see it jumps all the way to 32 dps your base damage was 24 so that is a big jump from 24 to 32 and you can see all green all green that's something you basically want to try to get to you can see increases the damage increases the critical critical chance sorry increases the speed the durability as well durability isn't really much of it but for melee weapons it, it seems like it's a big thing and then critical damage is fully maxed out so that's like the first mod if you can get it, it i believe it is a purple mod if i look here um to find out what is a purple mod well it's actually a blue mod it is a purple mod so blue like brown to gray and blue are like some of the easiest to get um, and it's a blue mod, so that's pretty pretty awesome to get that one mod if you can get it um, as well. You can, if you are interested, you can actually change your um, your cards. But for me, I would recommend if you do get a green card, you can open it. If you do get a blue card, open it. I wouldn't recommend at the stage you may be at to actually um, trade in like ten green for for blue. I would recommend doing that. And when you get to the stage that you've got like purple mods and stuff and that's all what you really need you can start going blue to purple but i would rec recommend if you do bunker uh, if you do sorry if you do pd and you do use guns i recommend whatever cards you get to use um you don't always have the best you probably can do 
is actually um you can actually just change out like the gray because you, you tend to get more gray mod than any other mods you can you can actually just change up gray for green and go on doing it that way um as well so for the handle the handle is a little different to what you can get for this handle right here um this one does do tape but i believe if i go in here to actually building mods the building mods is definitely one of the more tricky ones yes there you go so this is this is the screen that is best to show you what is going to be for you as well so i'm going to go over here to the cleaver and you can see with the light mod these are the requirements for it uh critical chance damage and durability goes down you can see it gets pretty expensive and you do just for a, a safety net you will need to craft some weapons for these melee mods so you're gonna have to actually put that um, weapon into the mod so the best thing to do if you do have that weapon try to get it down to little to no uh, hp just have it like a server of health save it and then put anything mod it it doesn't have to be full durability at all which is perfect especially with the hammers as well if you use hammers also um for the sickle it's always good to have range on a melee weapon yes the cleaver doesn't have much melee range but it's quick which is a very good thing so for the sickle it does have good critical damage, does have good speed, does, ha does have good damage, but the range is cut down as well. But for full, that's why for the cleaver, it does have short range. You don't have to be making it shorter and shorter, especially if you do have to use the cleaver in the, for the wall skill. You don't want to be having to bring the frenzy giant or any zombie that you're wall skilling like very close to the like very close to the wall that have, you're going to be getting hit through the wall. So that's one thing uh, to put in note as well. So the, the best one, like I said, the tactical butcher's knife, the damage goes up, the durability goes up, critical chance and critical damage, as well as the speed. Um, For these other mods, like for the handle and stuff, I already have like the two best mods. So if I just have like any random um loot as well, I just can dump it into these ones. But this is one of the better handles for the cleaver. Hunter's handle, uh, damage goes up, durability goes up, critical chance and critical damage as well as the speed so now let's put on the mod for the cleaver i do have them preset to save and you can see from 24 damage it goes all the way to 41 dps per second which is amazing which is amazing it looks very good you can see how the mods looks as well looks pretty pretty neat as well so the next melee weapon you will tend to get the machete a lot in a way it can be crafted, it's pretty expensive, so I wouldn't recommend crafting it right away. Um, you can always go with the, with the um, what's it called? <laughs> I'm brain farting right now, with the crowbar, there you go. The crowbar is one of the better melee weapons to use throughout, and then you'll be able to progress and use it differently. So, one thing, one mod that I had a lot was this mod. I believe this is the par Param Blade, if I'm 100% sure. Um, with the with this there you go yeah the parang blade this is what i use first before i get and again the active skill mod active skill mods are definitely harder to get so i ended up building this one um it does give me damage critical chance and speed the others do cut a lot so if the ample um, hook blade it does give you a lot of critical damage it does give sorry it gives you critical damage and normal damage but it destroys the durability and the speed. I don't really know much about the durability on much of melee weapons. I think they're all the same in a way, depending on what you use a lot. But I think this destroys the durability a lot. So crafting the machete with this mod may not be the best idea. Um, if you do find it, can if you do find the machete in the wild, like in zones, and you do have that mod, you can throw it on it because normally weapons are half their ability, so it doesn't really matter. But I would recommend really crafting crafting if you do craft the melee um, weapon or even craft the mod for it i would recommend get the prime blade it isn't too bad as well the um bone cracking blade isn't bad at all that the speed does go down though but it does have good damage and good good critical damage as well as a range um with the ripper blade you can get a ripper blade it does give you a lot of um normal damage good critical damage as well as normal uh, crit, crit chance as well which is actually not too bad 
Um, one melee mod that is pretty hard to get, which is definitely the uh, Gut Hook Blade. Um, this gives you active skill mod. It does give you a lot of damage, gives you critical damage as well as critical speed and regular speed. There are two handles that are pretty hard to get as well. The Bone Hook handle, you do need to uh, kill the Blame one for this mod. Well, sorry, for this specific Bone Handle because you need the um, Big Bones as well. But this one does destroy the durability and the speed as well, but it isn't too bad with critical damage and critical chance as well as the normal damage. This mod, I used this mod first because they had, I didn't get this mod at all. So the Hunter's Handle is definitely not a bad handle to get, as well, especially if you are going on to this. So with this one, go hit go, uh, Tendon Rip, which is the Axe Skin mod, gives it to 50 damage DPS as well. And then you can get this one uh, to Safety Net because it doesn't really give any... Um, it doesn't destroy anything this this mod definitely destroys could destroy the speed but it does give you a lot of critical damage um as well so that's the mod that i i use with the guns now going on to the guns the pistol is definitely one of the better mods um better pistols well sorry better weapon to mod uh the best mod here is definitely going to be the outstanding mag Ascending mag is a purple blueprint though so it's pretty hard to get but when you do get it it definitely does change your gameplay as well so speed goes up durability goes up the weight does go down but with the with the weapons you don't really have to worry about the weight you mainly want to go uh, critical damage so with the sites these sites are to be determined i use this um this site is definitely one of the sites you probably get first these mods here are the active skill mods with the leg shot and the power shot so they definitely change the game especially if you're doing bunker bravo uh, you tend to use and like me i tend to use the power shot against the exploders um i use this mod and then as well as the leg shot just to slow down enemies as well but the active skin ones are harder because those are purple i use the leg shot or i use both leg shot and power shot but for this one you'll definitely be crafting this mod there as well so with this with the silencer you don't really need the silencer is harder to get is a purple mod i wouldn't recommend building any of these to be honest you can if you want to um, like I said, it's your gameplay for this one. This does this, um, gives you more speed, gives you critical damage, gives you more range, which is perfect. So I would recommend building this mod as well. And then for this one, it does give you a little bit more damage as well with a little bit more range, but the silencer is definitely one of the better mods to get. It doesn't increase your range. Yes. But it decreases the noise, which isn't too bad, especially if you like raiding, like me, when you get to level 150, this silencer definitely will be good for you. So now on the stocks, well not really stocks, but the shutters, the shutters, this elite shutter is one of the hardest shutters to get. Um, I know you will be interested in this, but for this one, you can see the noise with the silencer is still up. But if you have the active shutter, um, the shutter does do more damage and stuff uh, as well. And the noise is definitely none because the silencer is on um, as well. But the elite shutter is definitely one of the better shutters to have. I had this shutter, which ain't still, even though I have the silencer, the noise is still up. So elite shutter is definitely good. So when you do have the silencer, I wouldn't recommend building this um, way to get the elite shutter, but it is a hard uh, mod to get. It is, um, um, it is one of the rarer mods, it is a purple mod, so it's pretty hard to get. But if you don't have the silencer and you do want to get this, you can, you can build it. But if you do have the silencer and you are doing raids gun wise, um the elite shutter is definitely the best so for these sites both sites aren't bad um i do have the green site the green site is amazing it does give me my damage 101 but if you do have this site it doesn't work as well but i can show you this is my build for my um, pistol i do have the green site have the elite shutter silencer as well as the leg shot leg shot can be changed out and having this leg shot gives it 103 which isn't too bad now with the higher weapons like the M16, M16 is one of the best mods, uh, well, best gun to mod, in my opinion. Um, M16 is pretty cheap. This is the best handle in the game for the M16. You can see stability goes up with the guns that shoot uh, the automa more automatic weapons than the pistol. The automatic weapons need stability. Um, this is the best handle for the m16 hands down stability goes up perfectly damage goes up speed goes up which is awesome with these sites i use this site here i've been using this one more longer than i had this one um this one gives it damage and this one gives a critical chance 
critical damage as well as critical chance. I've been using this one um, more often than not. Now, with the muzzle, um, this one is a little different. Um, this one is the best because this just jumps its ability up to almost nothing. You literally don't, you can just hold on the M16 for sometimes a, a long period of time. You don't have to, you still will miss. Um, I can tell you that, but this stability is through the roof. This changes the game immensely. There are the silencers, but I don't really use the silencers for uh, the M16 or any of my longer range weapons, but I enjoy this one. This one is perfect. Now, for the sights, the sights are different. You can use the green sight. The green sight is too bad, but the red sight does change your critical damage and critical chances by the stability. But you can see where we started from a naked gun. The, you can see the stability is always all the way up. And then you can just change the, gain, change the gun to naked and you can see the stability is literally cut all the way back down to half. So you can see why this um, melee, why this weapon is so good. And you can see how cheap it is. You can see literally three gray marks and one purple. And that one purple is the sight. So you can see how that changes um, your perspective on the gun. Now, one of the more favorable guns to use is shotgun, especially against the bling one. So one of the, this is going to be more purple mod heavy. So just be aware of that. There is this mod, this isn't too bad. This just increases your speed. There is the little, um, the little ammo as well. Gives you increased chance and durability. But one of the better mods to have is going to be the big ammo. Critical damage, speed, uh, sorry, damage, speed, and durability. The weight does uh, uh, go up as well. Like it makes it a little bit more heavy, heavier, sorry. But you don't have to worry about the heaviness of the weapon. So we're going to go on to having big ammo. Next song with the sights. The sights are different. If you want to use the best sight, in my opinion, is going to be the silencer. Um, if you want to get a silencer, silencer is harder to get. Like if I remind you that. Silencer is definitely harder to get, but it's definitely good for a rating. Um, the best mod for the shotgun is going to be the spread shot, the active skill mod. It is a purple mod, so it's hard to get. Uh, you need to be very lucky to get the active skill mod, especially if you're opening purple crates. But I would recommend don't grind for them because you won't have the guns and you definitely um, not have the weapons to do what you want to do, especially for bunker, doing bunker or even doing the farm. Even the farm, if you want to use guns, you can. But... For those normal locations, like Bank Alpha, the farm, and those type of things, you want to be using melee. For PD, that's when the guns will definitely get um, more used. But I would definitely recommend, if you can get the active skill mod for the shotgun, it is worth it. It is expensive though, so if you do get it and you learn it, definitely try to save up for it if need be. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, add, a, I wouldn't add anything on the shotgun right now. Um, but I do have the spread shot, which is perfect. For this one, this one is harder. I've been using this one a lot. This one is definitely more expensive. But this the, this handle makes it so much better. Um, as well, you can see all greens. This is one of the harder ones to get as well. Like I said, this shotgun is more purple oriented for mods. So it is going to be hard for you to actually fully mod it as well. So that is the one I have. For the site, the sites are different. You can see I build three. This is one that I had when I started building the shotgun. This one I, I ended up getting gives me more damage. I don't have this this mechanical sight. This one does give you critical damage, but I've been using this sight a lot. You can see the range goes up, critical damage goes up, and the critical chance. Sorry, critical chance and normal damage. But I've been using this one because this gives me the critical chance and critical damage as well as the range. Um, so that is what I've been using on my shotgun. And you can see shotgun does 100 DPS, which is too bad. So now we're going to go on to the two of the harder um, guns. Yes, we do have the bow. The bow is pretty simple. The bow, you don't really, you can build anything for the bow in my opinion. Because they're, the DPS doesn't really go up, to be honest. Um, something goes up. This isn't too bad to have. There is this one, but it, like I said, the bow doesn't really have much. This is the best one. The active skill mod for the bow is not out. So you can see you don't really need to build much for the bow as well. The only one, I do have the sight, but if you can build these, they do they literally carry the damage DPS not that high. So I don't really have much for the, the bow, I just have a gray mod for it. So for the two are the harder weapons to find, yes I, the scar is should be here, but like I said the scar is so hard to mod 
um, fully purple makes this ability way better. Um, one mod changes the scar, and that is a handle, which I don't have um, as well. So getting the scar handle, um, I think I can show you guys um, that getting the scar handle is going to change your game immensely, which is going to be this mod right down here. Extremely rare. Very, very hard to get um, as well. So when I can hopefully get that, I will be able to mod it differently and change my gameplay immensely. So now the two harder mods to get is going to be the AK and the VSS. So the best thing for the AK is going to be this handle right here. Yes, it does give you critical damage, a side critical chance, durability, and the weight goes up. So for the scar for, for the AK, sorry, the AK is mainly going to be more of bunker bravo. That's what you're gonna be building it for because that's what you're gonna be using a lot in bunker bravo. Yes, you're gonna be M16s, but for bunker bravo you want more DPS than, than anything. Yes, stability is going to be something you need, but you wanna be doing like tons of damage constantly because those zombies have a ton of health. Yes, as you guys can see, there's gonna be a slither of stability going down. But for that, for the other mods, disability changes a lot. So for the site, um, there is this site here for the, um, this, uh, this is a four times site, I believe. And the speed does go down a lot. Stability goes down a lot, but the range goes up. Critical chance goes up, critical damage, as well as the durability. I've been using this one a lot, but it cha this changes it immensely, even though the speed does go down. So for this site here, this is what I use a lot. Uh, stability does go up. The speed is the same range goes up, critical damage goes up, critical chance as well as the damage and durability. But for the durability now, this mod changes it completely. The speed just locks off as well. I've been using this a lot um, as well and then you can have the no stock as well if you want. But for this one, this is the tactical um, stock. So this is harder to get but the durability locks off and it makes it so much easier having a gun a full automatic gun that doesn't miss a lot is perfect uh, as well so having full stability is always perfect for this gun next off i have the active skill mod for this gun i do have this as a skill mod which is the grenade launcher uh, skill mod for the ak i just haven't fully built it yet um, but you can see the change of this as well so these two sites are perfect I would rec recommend the green site, but the uh, red site isn't too bad as well. So you can go up between those two sites and it doesn't really matter. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Which one that you want. Um, so the green site and the red site is definitely two that you would recommend to get. And they don't really change much. They just change around the critical chance and critical damage um, as well. But if you can get the green site, definitely build it. They will be expensive because of the gun. Um, so it's going to be harder. But this is definitely something that you can build. And the one that I have is the piercing blow. This is the um, bayonet active skill mod for the AK. And this definitely makes your AK so much better as well. So you can see critical dance. Uh, stability is literally back up to all, especially as high as the M16. So you can see the you can see how the stability for the for these guns are perfect. You need them to have at this to even use them in a way. Um, you don't miss much shots with the AK, especially having the stability, stability sorry, that high. So with the last and final gun that I think is best to go over is going to be VSS. So for the VSS, you don't have to worry about stability at all. You really want to have your VSS, VSS doing tons and tons of damage. You can see the base damage is 100 um, damage as well. And I believe the, I believe the, MC, the VSS sorry, does 50 damage. Yes, it does. There's 50 damage as well. So to change this now for the VSS, I've been using this one. This stock, this stock does the same. This stock is 103. I need to build all of them, but I've been using this one more because of the durability and critical chance. So for the sites, these sites are definitely different. Um, they do change your DPS up to all. Some destroy it and some change it up. So for DPS is 101, 103, 101, 97. 97 and 101. I've been using this one because it's 106. It's been going pretty good for me. For the start, I have the tactical start. Um, critical chance goes up, damage goes up, weight does go up as well. So I've been using this start. This one, like I said, these are a lot of purple mods. So be aware. 
you can see for the AK, the AK does have like four purple mods and one normal mod. So it's, it, it does get pretty uh, expensive to actually build the mods. Even to get them for the guns, you need to use to even get purple mods. And it is a chance you can get like a Winchester mod. So it's pretty, it's, it's going to be risky to get these mods if you get them. Even in the world, you can get purple mods, but it's harder. You can get purple mods in red zones and stuff. But like I said, they are harder to, to find if you get like purple and blue mods, those are best to find um, in your start of your gameplay. Um, for the, like I said, tactical start and then with the sight as well, I've been using this one. This gives it up to 122, but be aware there are mods in the game. There are mods that are not in the game that show. So for this mod, this mod is not the game. And I believe this mod is in the game. I may be wrong. I believe this mod is in the game i'm not saying sure no this blueprint is found as well so for this one i believe i believe it's not in the game i'm not saying sure but there may be there are mods that are not in the game so you need to be aware of that so this one is not in the game i believe i don't have found this mod yet so this is the out skill mod for the vss so out skill mod for vss is currently not in the game these are you can see so many purple mods these are the sites that i have to build they're pretty uh, cheap, but the most expensive part is going to be high-tech components as well. So these bolts and the adhesive, is, the glue is definitely easy to find. Uh, you can get those costly, especially if you start them up. This mod is, is very expensive. So like I said, mods are going to be very expensive. Purple mods are expensive. You can see there's going to start to get lenses. And lenses is when you actually... Um, Recycle then to actually get that as well. And this is the muzzle brake. You can see muzzle brake destroys their ability, destroys the noise, but its ability goes up a lot um, as well. So you can see this one is the grenade launcher mod, and they're pretty expensive. Having the carbon deposits and as well as the factory parts, which are pretty hard to find. Gunner is pretty easy to find in a way if you do bunk, if you do hard mode, bunk alpha, but I wouldn't recommend doing hard mode. Hard mode is pretty intense. The zombies have more health. Uh, sorry, zombies have the same health but more armor, so you do less damage with your fully modded machete or cleaver or, e or anything like that. So I wouldn't recommend doing hard mode because, like I said, it, it, it you use more than you get um, as well. So that is really, that's really all we have um, mod-wise, to be honest. Um, those are the more important guns that you want to be modding. The pistol and the M16, if you can mod the m16 first that is going to be perfect because like i said it's for automatic full automatic rifle so that's one of the guns that you want to um fully mod so these just hold the weapons look so the first mods that you really want to be getting as well cleaver if you can mod the cleaver first perfect because the cleaver is definitely very very cheap and then you can move on to the m16 and then move on to the pistol and then even the machete as well even the skull crusher skull crusher is harder to mod in a way due to having it two blue mods but the best mods that you want to be getting are for the cleaver try to get the cleaver fully modded if you can m16 pistol machete um shotgun ak um even sorry i will put the bow a little higher if you use the bow i don't know you normally use the bow so that's something i want to fully mod but you want to be modding guns that you know that you will use so the pistol, M16, shotgun, um, machete, and just so on and so forth. You can see we're working on decent mods. And I have I have mods I, I've learned already uh, as well. So that I don't I don't need them and I just go over it. the mods that I have already, I will just go over to the bunk alpha to, to the specialist and be able to exchange those mods. Exchanging mods is a good thing, um, especially if you learn to mod already. Um, but you don't always get a purple mod. It is a chance of getting it, but it's hard to get them um, as well. But hopefully that this video was entertaining. Um, hopefully I gave you a lot of information with um, which mods are going to be good for you to get. Um, as something that is going to be resource wise because they, they are heavy on resources. They are very, very heavy on resources as well. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. But this video was long enough. I'm sorry that I um, droned it up this long, but I really wanted to go over um, mods that you would want to get and mods that is going to be good for you 
uh, together as well. But that is it for me. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.